Welcome back, guys, to the 66th Annual Guess the Movie Show, because these questions aren't really going to help us, so in the end, it's going to be either some kind of guess, or someone's mask is going to slip. Or well, kind of Mimi's mask would slip, because the other one's not wearing a mask, because they actually are, really. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, let's start asking some questions. When is your birthday? Because we don't know. Let's make her the asking. Drumroll, please. When is your birthday? What day did I arrive? Oh yes, March day 25. I bloomed in May, the 5th was the day. Oh, very interesting, no. Now for the next question. Wow, we got so much out of that. What guy's your type? Obviously me. Who would like to know this next one, am I right, fellas? Drum roll, please. What kind of guy's your type? Hey, hey, I love them all. See, nope, no type for me. Oh, how can I share when the guy's right there? Oh, indeed, indeed! Time for another question! What's your nickname? This question might stir up some childhood trauma! What was your nickname as a kid? It's not a name to boast, but I was the bashful ghost. Not to go and make a fuss, but I was the odd porpoise. I, I, I'm, I'm imagining they want me to pronounce it like porpoise, which is correct. But I keep thinking porpoise when I say it. Porpoise. Poche way of saying it. Well, what do you know? Next question, please. We haven't learned anything. What's the best smell? Hmm, this one is sort of the beaten path. What are your favorite smell? Fresh air, I swear. Oh, cheese, yes, please. Well, I'd say the first one looks a bit better at the moment. Now time for our final question, folks. I just, what do you want? Ooh, is that new, was that in there before? Hmm. What a great question is indeed. Was the question even there originally? Also, why does one have a fly buzzing around it repeatedly? I only just noticed. What do you want most right now? Crystal ball, the newest kind. Nice ones are hard to find. I want a boyfriend, please. I'd love a guy to squeeze. I think I've just sorted my own tip out. Well, folks, that was all five questions. So which one is the real Merle? Set your minds. Let's have a guess. The one probably with the toilet smell. Why did I... But the fly was the clue all along. It's such a little pixel. It's a one pixel clue. Are you sure about that? Think good and hard, folks. Well, enough suspense. Let's see if the one you picked is the real Merle. A faithful moment, folks. I'm on the edge of my seat. Ding! Right! Well, of course, obviously, nobody could copy me. Stupid heads, I mimicked it perfectly, you know it. No, you didn't. You didn't mimic a fly. I guess I'll congratulate you by tearing you into little bits like stupid confetti. I can't believe it took me to, like, question four to see it. Was it even there before? And now the freaking out happens again. Because if that's not freaky, even on a computer game character that looks nowhere near humanoid, then I'm weird, because that freaky. Ugh! Yeah, I bet that hurts. Yeah, run, really. Anyway, I will cheer from over here. Ra ra, whoosh, bing, ba. Hit her in the knee. If she has one, does she? <laughs> She's a fast one, isn't she? Indeed. Oh, golly, well, whatever. I'll finish you off first. Me, 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 me. Um, I'm out of here. Ra ra ra. What happened there? Okay, she didn't invincible for a little time there. But to be honest, cha cha cha. If something is invincible, can we run? The door is shut firmly from the outside, but who might be out there? It's Merle. Merle. It is indeed. But to be honest, if something is invincible in anything, first thing you do is try to attack it with his own attacks, because for some reason that makes logical sense. And this is actually the way things go in a lot of media that has that kind of thing. So with Faro, we pick it up and do some damage. But what? Why can you damage me? I'm supposed to be all invincible. And that's the point. It's like in all media. If something is invincible, you throw what it's invincible. You know, you, you kind of hit it with the same thing. And for some reason, it's not invincible against itself. Which doesn't make much sense, really. In my mind, anyway, it doesn't. Complex power is supposed to protect me! 
Cobra, who's being bad? You can now hit a deer, for this is no normal chair. This chair is magic, woo, her magic barrier is through. What? When did this happen? Hey, I feel completely naked, how could you? I don't know, but let's scan and find out a little bit more about our little friend. That's Mimi, she's a slightly childish shapeshifter that works for Count Black. Max HP is Dodo, and attack is one, just go for the head when you attack. She will briefly stop when she gets hit, that is when you should go on the attack- Oh, so we can attack more now! She might also hang from the ceiling and throw rubies at you! That might be all good for- Oh, missed my timing! Why are you up there? Hey, go on, chuck a ruby out! For Rowan, mate! Oh, that was a terrible throw! Can I not hit you there? Uh, no, I can't, I got you quite nicely! Don't fall on me! Ah, uh, oh, that didn't go very well! Oh, I threw right over! This is over! Ah, I got- I'm getting rid of rubies here. Not doing much to her in the end. Like, still get some more attacks on, stylishly. Oh, I should be. Oh, your leg's gone. Uh, sorry about that. I'm essentially plucking a spider's legs while doing stylish attacks all around the place. Hee hee, on you, dearie. Now you should see the way a good cheer wins the day. It's fine, we got this. She seems to be completely locked in. Oh, got me. And now a ocean of death. Woohoo, you say? Well, I do as well. Stylishly. Yes, yes, our team's best. Go team! Yes, you're helping out, aren't you? You can rah, 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 you look. She's only got one leg. I wonder how she stays upright. The legs are snapped off everywhere. I feel quite sorry for her now. <laughs> how could you? It's impossible. How? Don't think you beat me for good dummies. Next time you won't be so lucky. Remember that, stupid heads. <laughs> Find Joel and that Mimi. Yes, the pure heart safe. Evil's repressed. We did our duty diligently. You know the tenants here guarded it for 1,500 years, waiting for you to draw near. And there's a chest on the front of our house. Finally, that duty's done, and I'm ecstatic for one. But wait here, we finish up. I must tell you something, yup. So the light prognosticus was read by you, yes? He was written there that I and my ancestors waited by the pure heart staying spry. But something wasn't written there, and of it you must be aware. There is another prophecy. A heart of chaos can only be beaten by four of mystery. Four heroes unite, their hope burns forth light to shatter the walls of blight. That is how despair it dies, such is what we prophesize here in the home of the wise. Four heroes. I am sure the pair of you, Mario and Peach, you too, are the first of heroes true. So then it falls to you to find the other heroes too. I would guess if I had to, the others might be known to you. Now finally, let me be, I hereby do my sworn duty. There, from me it parts, here, heroes, a pure heart. And all the pixels do a dance. Look at them as they all prance. For I am now in a trance, and I get my next prize. You got a pure heart, brilliant. Our third one. End of chapter! Count Black's servant Mimi had laid a nasty trap for Mario and friends. But with the help of Merli, faithful defender of the pure heart, the day was won! But who were the other two heroes mentioned by Merli? With five pure hearts yet to be found, Mario knew this adventure had only begun. Do you want to save your progress? No, of course we don't! Let's move on! Find out what happens next? As we return to Count Black. Yeah, so I just got a brief memo from Mimi. It says I messed up bad. That's the message in its entirety. Yeah. <laughs> she failed to best him, even with my gift of power. A light prognosticus hero. Descendants of the ancient tribe. Their strength grows. Count Black. Oh, it's, it's a Scottish guy. I beg you, give me the honor of wailing on this pack of Namby Pambies. I swear on me whiskers that I'll clobber them like naughty little gerbil they will. Gerbils and gerbils again? Oh, so oh chunks, yeah. You think you're all set to go? 
So I guess you finished up that report on your own inadequacy that I needed. Uh, you see, I just got a wee bit left. I'm working on my conclusion. You gotta give me a break. Me writing takes time, lass, and a hundred, well, a thousand pages be a lot. Yes, it does. Oh, chunks, calm yourself. Take a million time out. Count Black will send. Dementio, come to me, Count Black. And so I arrived, like a sudden windstorm at a kindergarten picnic. <laughs> You'd like some playtime, I imagine, Dementio? So you shall have it. But do not disappoint, Count Black. Dispatch this hero. Your wish is my command. Besides, this fool sounds like an amusing challenge. Now, if there is nothing else, I'll just be on my way. Shall my Count? Yeah, so, Ochunks, can you fill me in on why you're still not writing that report? A report? What are you? Oh, yeah, alright, I'm going. Yeah, great beard tweaker. Count, let me just bring you up to speed on the current state of the castle. I still have to root out a few unconverted rogues, but I'll report back soon. Heroes trying to save these prophetic old worlds. Black says, Count Black. <laughs> the efforts are in vain. No one can stop Count Black. Just as no one can ease the tempest that rages in my suffering heart. Who said that? Count Black himself? Oh my head! Hello Luigi! Hey, where am I? Oh yeah, now I remember. I was saving Princess Peach, but I messed it up and... You awake, Green? My Goombas! Yeah, hey there, uh, bad guys. You doing alright? Yeah, we're doing okay. Good to see you made it. Figured he was done. Dude is tougher than he looks. Yeah, big up Luigi. So yeah, kind of awkward. Say, have you guys seen the princess and Bowser? Nope, not so much. You're the only one we found lying around here. Hopefully they're both okay. Get a load of this moron. Who cares about his friends? Near as we can figure, most of the other minions got captured or something. And we're probably next. Why is this dude so calm? We're behind enemy lines. So, Luigi, old buddy, what do you think about maybe getting out of here? We're thinking maybe you open up a path for us and we all bail. What do you think? No, no. No, I, I couldn't possibly. I've got to save the princess. Man, wow, did not expect that. All those stories about great Luigi's daring exploits. We heard you were the defender of the helpless. We have no one else. Appealing to vanity. Good. Good call. The great Luigi, you say? A, a daring defender? Me? And I've got no choice. Luigi must spring into action. My fans need me. Oh, you are the best. Man, that was way too easy. What a sucker. We're right behind you. But the second the going gets rough, we bow. And follow me, brave uh, Goombas. Here we go. Here we go indeed. To where? To which place? To where we go? Follow you, Goombas. You seem to know where I'm going. Me? Not so much. Big and dark and evil places abound. Where do we head? Up or down? Well, the Goombas went that way, so I guess I follow. Exploration is all good and proper. But when we're trying to find our way out, maybe go where the people who seem to have done some scouting know where they're going to. Let's go, Goombas! Through this door, you say? How many doors are we going through? Where to? That's the real question. This is a long hallway, that's for sure. And Luigi with his crazy, massive jumping skills. Oh, he can't even jump over that one. That's one step. Wait, that one's way too high. Huh? Great, Luigi, wait for us. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to go that fast. Uh oh, looks like the end of the line here. Oh boy, looks like you're right. Now what do we do? Uh, shouldn't we look for another way out maybe? This guy's useless. If we stay put, somebody's definitely gonna spot... Gazort! Hell Black! Gary! No, Gary the Goomba! <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. And even the ones before. You! 
Yeah, you're that guy who really wasn't a team player back at the wedding. You're gonna need a little disciplinary action, I think. So let's get started, huh? Oh man, poor Gary. All right, it's time for me to goomer up. Man up indeed. Hey lady, got room for one more in a team? Nice work. What? Wow, hey, wait a second, what are you doing? He's a bad guy, this is what it does. What's it look like, genius? I'm getting with the winning team. Exactly, bad guy 101. Yeah, good call, love the enthusiasm there. Go ahead and swear your, you know, undying loyalty to the Count, you're on board. Hey, Count on me, lady. Here we go, Count, here we go. Love that Count. You, you dirty traitor. Okay, guys, new agenda. Hold this all down so I can get his priorities on track. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Ah, whoa, whoa, hey, no, Mario, where are you? Help! Seems Luigi's been fully nabbed. You're late. Did something happen? Yes, my father caught me sneaking out of the castle. Wasn't easy after that. I was worried you wouldn't come. You're a strange girl. You know what I am, and yet you do not seem afraid. I don't care what you are. I just wanted to see you. Is that... is that so wrong? No, no, no. Of course not. I want to see you too. Lumiere, do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, Timpani. Let's return to our conversation. I must know more of you. The question for us viewers is more of who? As we return from our adventure once more. Oh ho, ho! Welcome back, friends! How was your journey this time? Did you find Merlin and obtain the pure heart? Yes, as a matter of fact, we did. Merlin said that we would need the power of four heroes to save the world. Yes, Merlin said that. Ho ho, is that so? There is more than one hero? Well, if Mario and Peach are two such heroes, then you still need two more. Let's get the voice working, but something's going on here. Look, over there! The void has grown! Hmm, I fear that our time grows short, dear friends. I will return to the Light Prognosticus. You young ones, seek the next hard pillar. But first, allow me to tell you something the mystical book has already divulged to me. One person will determine whether the Light or Dark Prognosticus predicts truly. Both books refer to him as the Man in Green, but I know not what this means. I must return to my study to solve this conundrum. You may return indeed, but I guess that we're following you? Or are we searching for another heart pillar? Questions, questions. What on earth is going on? What will happen next? Are we looking for somewhere or someone right now? Come with me, Fro. But we do know somewhere to blow up as well. What is going on, sir? The light prognosticus implies that most of the hard pillars are actually outside Flipside. It seems the ancients truly intended that only one who could flip would find them. Indeed, so we are off just to search, just to hunt. That question solved, or at least that puzzle solved. Let us head downwards. Find out where we're going, but where is our down again? Which way is down? That's up. That is up. Down's further along to the left, obviously. Why am I going this way? Let's move! So we have ourselves a location to bomb through. But is that exactly where we're going? Only one that can flip. And find the stuff, which means Lonely Mario has the power. I find it interesting that Peach doesn't. Though with that said, oh, there's another floor down, is it not? Mind you, we haven't done much checking out of this place apart from the cooking. There's another house behind there. And there's a wall that can be blown up here. Hmm, let's get to work. Pixels, Boomer! You're called for! Don't worry, peasant or person, I don't know what kind of rank you are of society. We're finding stuff here. Uh, did we flip to the other side? 
think we are on the... Yeah. What side are we on now? That's a question. Hey, Grandma, what do I need to do to live as long as you? Drink some olive oil. Oh, that's simple, my dear. Only to bed and only to rise like the adverts. It's the olive oil in Olivia that does everything and makes you really old in Italy and stuff. Yes, sure. Perfect, I'm asleep in noon school. Excellent. Not really doing your lessons that much, but it seems that we definitely have come to someone weird. Eight blocks each color once. What? Oh, we found ourselves a little clue, a little tip. Oh man, I'm so done for, the deadline's close, and I've got nothing, nothing! Man, I've been struck with that dreaded curse known as Writer's Flock. Don't you mean block, sir? No, wait, I mean block, Writer's Flock. You got it in the end. But what is this location, and what was that weird twinkle coming from over here? Now this is odd. So things to investigate over this side. We'll continue on with more Super Paper Mario next episode, guys. So join me for that next time, and I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.